I find it so interesting that how small little things that happened so many years ago in my childhood have affected me to this day. I grew up obsessed with cars, and I mean obsessed with cars. I had so many model cars, I couldn't even explain to you how many. I'd buy one every time I got any pocket money, <laughs> any money from little jobs I'd do. I'd go out and cut the grass, I'd go out and clean cars, just to have money to buy model cars with when I was a kid. And then as I've grown up into an adult, I now do it as an adult, but with real cars. It's absolutely crazy to me that I get to do this as a hobby. I love it. I, I look around and I can't believe that I'm so lucky, surrounded by so many cool cars. Um, right now I'm standing in front of my dad's 1960 Chevy Impala. Today, just out of nowhere really, this whole situation has uh, uh, unfolded and I've ended up buying another car. And it's, <laughs> it's so weird. I've got to show you something from my childhood like 25 years ago and now what's just appeared in the garage. <laughs> so. Uh, let me figure out how I'm gonna do this. Uh, because I want this to kind of be cool. This is a cool thing, this is a fun day. So what I'm holding here is a little green MX-5 from when I was, I don't know, seven or eight year old I probably got this. I kept it in pretty good condition as you can see here. But um, this is what I've just bought as a 33 year old man. <laughs> it's pretty cool, no? How about that? Look at that. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! So it should be quite obvious from looking at it, it's not in great, great condition. I'm sure Luke won't mind me saying that. Um, the car's actually been like abandoned for a few years and I've been walking past it every day when I walk my dog <laughs> throughout the last two and a half years and I've seen it sat in the drive and I was like, that's kind of cool, little JDM import MX-5, like it's a uh, cool little thing now, I guess. You don't, you know, they are common. These are obviously a common little Japanese sports car, but they're, they're, they're getting rarer, right? <laughs> and they're getting more expensive. And like, I've been looking for something, not to buy, just to enjoy, just to look at. I like looking at cars online and I've watched the price of these going up. And I thought, man, I'm never gonna own a car with pop-up headlights. <laughs> That's like a genuine thing that went through my head. Like, man, I don't think I'm ever gonna afford a car with pop-up headlights. Now, I spoke to Luke because me and Luke are friends at the uh, same fight, the fight, fight gym we go to. Um, both do jujitsu together and we train a lot together as well. I really like him. He's a really, really good dude. And um, a little while ago, he was like, I'm, I'm going to build my new tattoo studio and I need to sell a bunch of stuff. I've got this MX-5. Do you know anyone that would want it? And I was like, eh, I'll come and have a look. We'll see. I had a look around it and we couldn't, we couldn't agree on a price. He wanted way more than what I could afford and what I thought it was worth at the time. I didn't realize how much they were going for. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't realize how much they are actually worth now. Um, and I had to pass up the offer. I was like, oh man, it would have been so cool to have that little model and do the little reveal. <laughs> um, but I digress. And basically he, he texted me what he wanted. I said, I can't, I can't do that, man. And, um, but I think you will get that money if you advertise it on one of the groups, maybe. I'm sure was, and kind of left it at that. Roll forward about a month. And I get a text message going, what, would you buy it? Like, what would you offer? So I, I lowballed him. He then come up and then we agreed at a kind of in-between price, but he also included a fresh roof for it. Not a hard top, a, a new roof. Cause I'll, I'll show you around it a little bit. Um, we're gonna probably have to go to the phone for that anyway. So I'll, I'll change the phone so you can see it. And um, yeah, it's, it's not great condition, but I love a little project, me. Right, just got it into the garage. And this is Luke. So Luke's one of my jiu-jitsu friends. And uh, you mentioned you had this car for a while. I've walked past it with the dog every day. Are you sad to see it going, man? I am sad to see it go, but it's going to be cool to see, see what you do with it. So we're going to have to get to work on it. At least we've got some nice weather for a bit. But I appreciate you selling me it. And uh, we'll just see what we can do. <laughs> you got first refused on it, baby. Get rid of it. <laughs> So like I said, jujitsu friends, <laughs> look what you've just found in the boot. <laughs> I haven't earned my blue belt yet. You're a purple belt, right? Um. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like it. I like, I like it. All of my cars right now, um, two of them are off at real shops getting fixed properly. Uh, the Civic, I simply cannot afford the parts for. I just don't want to sp spend that amount of money on something that I'm probably not going to use a whole lot at the moment. The car's not leaving me at all. I'm going to build that over time and we'll see. We'll just see with that one. I just wanted something, Fun, like something new, something new to me. 
And then with this heat wave we've got in the UK at the moment, I was like, man, it'd be cool to have a drop top. Now I did buy it not knowing that it had a load of wiring cut, which I'll show you once again in a moment. Um, but we will figure that out, whether it needs a new loom or I don't know what they've cut, I don't know. But um, some stuff got chopped up because the alarm kept going off. And now the alarm doesn't go off anymore, but it doesn't start either. So it needs, it needs some work. I haven't actually looked under the bonnet yet. I haven't, I don't know, I don't know much about it. <laughs> um, it really was like agreed over the phone and I just went and we, I picked it up with the trailer earlier. Um, I don't know when the last time it drove. I don't know how much fuel it's got in it. I don't, I don't know anything about this thing. So we can learn together. Today's gonna be probably the only video you see on it until we've got major updates on the main channel. Um, obviously I'm trying to make sure the main channel gets really high quality videos now. So this is kind of going to be like a members build, I guess. And if you want to have constant or more regular updates on the build and what we're doing and much more off the cuff videos that aren't as professional and as uh, well polished, I'd say, um, then you can subscribe to be a member of the channel. And uh, that's the only time I want to plug it. If you don't want to watch it, there will still be updates on the car, on the main channel, as and when we have big stuff to say or do or big parts of the project or we make a big movie video of the build or I don't know how it work it yet but I don't want to be under pressure by main YouTube to make this work because we've got so much other stuff going on with the other cars I can't prioritize this as like a major thing but we can definitely spend some lovely summer evenings down here fiddling with it <laughs> and figuring out what's wrong so uh I'm gonna keep uh, the microphone on but we'll flick to iPhone cam and uh let's have a little look around it shall we let's get a little bit up, up and close and personal Okay, iPhone cam, we're going in. So, as you may be able to see here, the paintwork is pretty, pretty worn. Um, the headlight doesn't match, but um, it is the nice green. It's a 1.6 Japanese import. He thinks it's got a diff. Well, he told me it's got a diff, but I'm not, obviously would like to check that before uh, we do anything once we get it rolling, but that won't be a problem. Um, obviously it's a Unos Roadster, which is so cool. I've got an Unos Roadster, <laughs> that's so sick. Uh, with obviously the Japanese, because obviously it's a Japanese car, it's got the Japanese panel on it. Um, it is got the cool tan interior. Look at the look at little chrome door handle, how cute is that? And it comes with a Nardi wooden steering wheel, which is lovely, but it's definitely showing sign of age. So I don't know if I can get these like redone anywhere maybe. Um, it's got a lovely Mazda Speed gear knob as well, wooden Mazda Speed gear knob. It's got the tan interior. Now I've sent it to one of my little MX-5 friends already <laughs> and uh, she wasn't that impressed, but I am. I, I very much like this. And the cool thing is it's got speaks in the headrest, but Luke did say these don't work. And that's kind of uh, a shame, but I think we might be able to figure it out. I can't see why not. Um, got a head unit, little Panasonic head unit down here. I haven't even looked in the center, center console yet. How do you open these? There we go. Is there anything in there? Oh, a little petrol cap. Forgot about that. Uh, trunk. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay, we'll have to figure it out. I've got this lovely, disgusting towel <laughs> on the back here. He even said it's disgusting though. So what, what's this? Oh, is that a windbreaker maybe? That's kind of cool. Let me uh, show you how, how do you do the roof on these things? This is, ah, crikey mate. <sighs> so the roof is bad. Um, it's bad, let's be honest. I could just tape it up though, just to kind of get it back on the road, I guess. But this is pretty terrible. Um, but he admits that, he knows that. I've got another roof, which we'll show you in a moment. I don't really know much about it. Um, oh, that's down. I wonder if we can... Uh... Oh, let's get this out. That is so grim. I'm sorry, Luke, that's so gross. That's a new oil towel <laughs> over there. But that looks right, like kind of nice condition. We've got some pretty wear on the back of the seats, but I mean, we could, I mean, why don't we just try this real quick, actually? Leather cleaner, here we go. Here we go, product testing on the go. They'll love this, here we go. I don't know what to do, so we'll just spray some on and just see what happens, shall we? Why not? First video, get a raggedy old cloth. And just, oh God, oh God, that is so gross. I mean, it looks better already, look at that. That's without even giving it any grief. Oh, come on, look at this. That's what we like. That is what we like. Okay, we'll get these seats out and give that some proper attention. I mean, if the Ferrecla guys are watching and you wanna come down and help me <laughs> get some of this paint maybe back. Cause if you look, um, I haven't touched it. I really wanted to leave it. And uh, I really wanted to leave it. So I really wanted to leave it and make sure we could get this on video. I've literally just picked it up. Um, we might as well, while we're here, 
see if we can fix the paint at all. This is just, oh, I've not even used the right one. I've used the original rapid detail. I've got the second rapid, de rapid detail two here. There we go. We'll see how different that is. Whoa, much more thick. Um, all my stuff's at my house now. I've kind of like, I wonder if we use this. It's probably a bad thing to do. I don't know if it's a bad thing to do or not, but it's a soft brush, so it should be fine. Um, let's get some of this. I mean, let's just see if we've got any hope that this... Is there any hope that this thing might be in good nick? We'll find out right now. Ready? Old cloth, though. Sorry, guys. Well, I mean, it might just need a bit of lacquer, mate. That was actually coming up quite nice. It might be good with a polish. We'll find out. Get the old DA out and uh, get to work. Yeah, it's gonna need some proper loving, but that's what we're here for, I guess. Um, we're here to, to learn. So, we've, what have we checked out? We've checked out the bad paint. Oh, I forgot to say, he told me that it is on coilovers, so we'll jack it up and find that out um, very, very soon. Down here, we've got the JR11 wheels that I will be selling. Um, I just, I, I'll be honest, I just don't really want that style of wheel. So I will be selling those. They might even be sold before you even see this video. I have a set of Moteggies I want to put on it um, that the, the guys at Wheel Pros kindly gave to me. And I've just not been using the Civic, so there's been no reason to have them on there. Now we've got a car they can go on. But let me show you the worst of the worst part of this car. That is a little windbreaker though, right? Should have put it up. So if we're going under here, we've got the little special mats as well. We'll have to try and save those. They look really cool. Wow, look at that, like the original badge. Andrew Strang would pay me a million pounds for these. Um, here we go, we've got lots of cut wires here. Now, I think it might just be easier and time consuming just to buy another loom. But we need, to, if anybody knows MX-5s, I have no idea about these. What is all this for? Um, obviously some of this has got to be important, right? I don't, I don't know, so we need to figure it out. But it's got 209,000 kilometers on it. So she's, she's done some miles, miles, she's done some miles. Let's have a look under the bonnet, shall we? How do you do these again? There we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. High performance air cleaner. Where does this go? Does it go there? Cool. So yeah, it does. It it does have coilovers on it. I can see right now. They might even be quite good. They might be Tyne or HSD being green. That's kind of cool. That doesn't look great. I assume that's where the thermostat is. I'm only going off of the shape of the, the thing. Um, that might not be good news at all. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, but also, it might just be corrosion. So we'll... Oh no. It's been sat for a long time. It might just be corrosion. I don't know, we need to figure that out. I don't, put that back on. Forget about that for a little while, but this is kind of uh, gross, isn't it? Under here as well, we've got some green Mazda Speed HT leads, which look great. Um, I don't really know, we need to have a proper little dig around one day. And this is literally just the introduction for you guys. Um, like I said, we're gonna do full clean video. Uh, we'll be stripping it down a bit. I need to take the wheels off. There's a lot of stuff I really want to do on the car already, just to try and figure out, like I want to get under here, get the seats out, get this loom out and uh, figure out wh what one I need to buy because obviously it'd be in a Japanese import. I need to figure out if they're different to the UK car or all of that malarkey. Um, We've got the new roof, we've got the seats that we can definitely clean up. These are gonna be really fun to bring back to life, I think. And yeah, with the, the second little subsection for videos, I think it will make it much more relaxed to, to building as well. For, for building it, I think it'll be much more relaxed knowing that uh, we've kind of got no time constraints. So I'm really excited to kind of get stuck into this. And I mean, I've got all the time in the world, a really beautiful Nardi wheel. I just think that it would be such a cool little car to have. I think they're so hard to come by now at the price I paid. 
I really don't feel like I can complain. Anyway, back to main camera. Oh, so, here we are. Oh my God. <laughs> ah! There we go. I think that's the right hole. I've said that before. Um, anyway, uh, here is my new little Mazda MX-5. I think it's gonna be a fun little project. I really loved my last one. I really enjoyed it. I think it was a lot of fun to learn on there. So easy as well. They were easy for me when I had no idea what I was doing. And now I have some idea. So not a massive idea. And um, I really wanna learn more. And with all the other cars, they're all kind of like hard to learn on. Where it's like, they're all done, you know? And we have people that look after certain ones. I thought if I get something really cheap that doesn't matter, that I still like, uh, why not? <laughs> like I said, you don't really get them at the price I paid anymore. I'm really happy with it. So subscribe if you want to see the future of the MX-5. If we can get it all Gucci, running good, really fun, enjoyable car again. On the road, maybe, if we can. Um, we will uh, take on a nice road trip somewhere and have a little uh, MX-5 weekend away. But we've got to get there first, so the journey begins. Welcome to my new little MX-5, Mark 1. Hey, if you want to see what's going on, you know where I find it at this point. I'm not going to keep, keep saying about it. Um, but yeah, we're going to have lots of fun working on this. Lots of stress as well, I imagine. Um, but hey, we've got an MX-5. Let's have some fun. Thanks for watching, by the way. I appreciate you guys. Take it easy. Peace.